we are ready to install system sensor configuration manager on our windows server in the previous videos we have installed all the required prerequisites if you have not checked all these videos link is given in the description you can go ahead and check them out this is Jay Singh welcome to my channel Technex solutions so let's get started so I have logged into technex seo one this is going to be my SCCM server so before you get started so in under technex seo one you can see there are a few uh, checkpoints so you can do the same all you have to do is just right click and create a checkpoint just in case if something goes wrong you can go back and uh, you can redo the things okay so um, I'm logged in here to technex seo one and uh, before we do anything so all we have to do we have to add this computer object to the local groups of administrators alright so it can have uh, privileges so right click on your start menu and then go to computer management and in computer management click on local users and groups in groups you can see administrators double click on that and click on add as you know by default computer objects it's unchecked so we'll check it click OK and then type in your SCCM server so SCCM server is technex dash su1 okay check names okay so it's here apply and hit okay so that part is done so now you need setup files you can go ahead if you have not downloaded setup files link is given in the description when you download the setup files it is going to be a zipped folder so you can have to unzip that and I have already unzipped them and copied over to the desktop alright so just double click your unzipped files you will see SPLASH file there so double click on that and uh, it will come up with the installation window so this is the window here you have further information here additional resources you can check out release notes documentation and the tools and standalone components are available here if you want to check them out so we will go ahead and click on install yes so before you begin it uh, want you to check out these uh, few options here verify that you have supported SQL Server identify your fully qualified domain name of the computer which is running uh, SQL Server and uh, confirm that computers for configuration manager sites meet the minimum system requirements and all this sub we have already done that and we will go ahead with that install configuration manager primary site we will pick the first option we don't want to go with the CAS so we'll stick with the first option and we don't want to use the typical installation um, we have to we, I'll show you some things where you can change if you have to so we will pick that the very first option without un, uh, without ticking use typical installation we'll go ahead um, if you have a key you can check it in I do not have I will stick with evaluation addition so we will go ahead and accept the terms we'll go ahead so download required files so these are the update files in the previous video where I had talked about software requirements I showed how to download these files beforehand because if you download these files now it will take longer so I already downloaded these files and I will browse to the files in uh, local disk C under SCCM update files click OK and I can go ahead I can show you how to download these files beforehand and you can download these files on a different computer as well so you need the setup files for that go to SMS setup and bin x64 in here you will have setup DL okay this is an XE file double click that yes and you can show path where you want to save the files and then click download so you can download these files like that you can check out the software requirement videos um, you can click on the top right hand corner there's an I button and the video is there so let's continue with that and I'll go next so it is going to verify all the files which I downloaded earlier okay so once it's happy with the files it will show you the language um, that cons configuration manager console and reports will show I'll stick with English you can pick your own language if you want to uh, let's go ahead alright so the next option is client languages select the languages which configuration manager supports on the client side as well so I'll stick with English and let's go ahead site code has to be three letters I will go with TEK and site name you can name it anything I will name it Technex uh, main site 
installation folder can be changed but I will stick with the default and install the configuration manager console if you uncheck that it will not install the configuration manager console but we need it it is already checked let's go ahead so join the primary site if it's already in there we are going to install the primary site as a standalone site so we will go with the second option and let's go ahead and um, so SQL Server name, it by default it picked up the same server, technext-se1 where SQL Server is installed. If it is installed on a remote server or on a different server, you can name that server here. It has to be fully qualified domain name. Database name, CEM underscore TEK, happy with that. And service broker port is 4022. If you have changed the port on SQL Server, you have to change it here as well. Let's go ahead. I'm keeping all these things default because I haven't changed them. So path to the SQL Server data file. It's here and here and I'm sticking with the default. Let's go ahead. SMS provider. I'm keeping it default. This is the place we are where we are going to install SCCM server. So let's go ahead. And all site system roles accepts only HTTPS. We have not configured HTTPS. Uh, if you have, you can go with the first option, but uh, the second option is for HTTP. So let's go ahead and install management point, install distribution point, and the client connection will be HTTP and HTTP. I'm happy with that. Let's go ahead. Let's go ahead and click next. Okay, so in this part, service connection point site system role is already checked. It says yes, and uh, let's get connected. So I'm happy with that site system role. So this actually role, it actually manages uh, mobile devices and uh, with Microsoft Intune and also it uh, manages mobile devices with on-premises MDM. So I'm happy with that. You can skip for now if you want to. Let's go ahead. I'm happy with this. So you can put in your proxy server if you have anything available. Let's go ahead and click next. So all the settings we have picked can be seen here. So let's go ahead and click next. So it will check everything and it will show us if there's any issue all right so prerequisite check is finished and it has given us one warning so if you click on the warning it will give us more information about it it is just about memory that it picked up that we have provided less memory to sql server which is fine in test environment so let's click on begin install and if it's gonna take a while it can take up to half an hour or one hour depends on the resources how much resources we have provided to your server so let's click on begin and then it will start installing system center configuration manager you will see the different steps here that it will be going through and um, i will be back once everything is done All right, great. So it looks like everything has been gone smoothly and setup is finished. It took about uh, half an hour. It's a 32 minutes, 44 seconds. As I said earlier, it can take longer or it can take less time as well. It depends on the resources you have provided to the server. So let's just click on close. So you can view the log actually. If you click on that and then this is the log and it can be viewed here. So let's just close that and we will close this and we will close this all right so if you click on your windows logo here a recently added applications you will see configuration manager console so this is the console we will use to connect to our site so let's just give it a go and let's get connected with that so let's just click on that okay so it is saying connecting to site database technex-se1.technex.local It is connected to the site. So that's all for this video. Give this video a thumbs up if you feel like it was informative for you. And also subscribe to my channel if you have not done yet. And I will see you in the next video. Most probably in the next video we will configure Windows Firewall settings. And then we will actually look at the console, configuration manager console. What are the options we have available within the console. See you in the next video.